Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video on how to save your, how to promote your Redbubble shop and your designs on Pinterest for free. So the first thing you want to do is download Google Chrome if you don't have it already, because you're going to need the, the Pinterest Google Chrome extension. So you just type in Pinterest and then this will come up. So you want to say, you want to get the Pinterest save button and then it'll come up over here on the right hand side. So next, you're just going to go to your Redbubble shop. I actually debated if I should show my Redbubble shop, then I realized that I don't make like, like more than, <laughs> I haven't like even deposited money yet, but I did make my first few sales within the first two months. And this isn't my only Redbubble shop. I have another one that is a little bit more successful. This one I actually just made for fun. So I just figured why not just show it. So um, on this one, I have six sales so far. I started my Redbubble shops in December 2020 and uploaded designs until January, only for until January. Because then after that, there was like a mass suspension and decided not to upload anymore. But I'm going to start uploading again soon. Um, even after I stopped uploading, I still started to get some sales. But anyways, to stop digressing, so the first thing you want to do is, so what do you want to promote? Like, for example, you can promote stickers, you could promote phone cases. Um, the one thing that I like to do is categorize them. So what you could do here on the left hand side where it says category, you could choose clothing, you could promote like kids clothes, phone cases, etc. So for example, we're going to do phone cases. So we're going to click on that. Sorry, my computer has been weird lately. Okay, so we're going to do phone cases and then we're going to let's do iPhone cases. We're going to click on this button right here, the Pinterest button. And this will allow us to mass save up to 10 different different designs. So we're going to choose like the first 10 up here. That's 10. And then we're going to click next. And then we're just going to pin it to a Pinterest board. So for example, you could create a new board or if you already have a Pinterest, you could just print pin it to an old board's already made one that's called like cute phone cases aesthetic phone cases, marble phone cases. So uh, let's make a new one. Create board. Um, iPhone 12 cases. Okay, create. And then there you go. Those 10 different iPhone cases are now saved to a Pinterest board. And you could just keep repeating this and categorize like certain designs together. So for example, these are all like animal print. So go next, create board, animal print phone cases, create. And that's it. So what I noticed, for some reason, I have, uh, when I go on Pinterest, this is a business Pinterest account. And I noticed that the notifications that I get are mostly from, I have two, so I've, I made multiple Pinterest accounts. So this is like a regular user. And then this one's a business Pinterest account. And here you could see like different business analytics and stuff like that. Um, people usually that promote on Pinterest do Pinterest ads, but for me, I don't want to spend any extra money 
right now on any side hustles. I just want to do this passively. I know I and, and I understand that you need to put in money to make money, but for me right now, I'm a student and I just don't have the extra money to just spend on Pinterest ads, like even if it's like five, ten dollars. That's not something that's my priority right now. So I just passively like in my spare time after i like post a design i just like promote it on pinterest and then what i noticed is that my regular user account this is the regular user account most of the pins that i post are repinned from this account so like you could see here one hour ago i had two pins saved five hours ago and then i did some stuff for valentine's day so yeah, all of these were just repinned from my regular user account, but none of the repins are from my business account, and I'm trying to wonder why. Maybe it's because like on business accounts, you really do need ads for it to be shown on the algorithm. Maybe it's like the maybe because I do this for fun and I just like use. I generally like use similar simple pinterest board names like you just want to do like super simple like stuff that people would normally just make as a pinterest board like when i was when i usually pinterest for for my personal use like i would just do like cute cute simple tattoo designs or cute delicate tattoo designs like you need to think of think in the head of whoever you're trying to sell your product to. So like for baby clothes, like toddler clothes, baby boy clothes, stuff like that. Even though these actually haven't been repinned. Um, usually stickers are the ones that are repinned for me. So yeah. Anyways, that's all I have for this video right now. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, you could just comment below. Or if you have any video requests, um, I'm just making videos as I'm going and I'm learning. This isn't really like, a, like I'm not trying to like, um, like persuade you guys to do anything or I'm just giving like my two cents and my personal experience. That's basically what this YouTube channel is for. Just like my road to passive income and most of the stuff I learned about Redbubble is from YouTube, so this is just like kind of my way to document how it's going and to kind of pay it forward. So yeah, if, you, if this video is helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe, and um, yeah, if you want to check out any of the other videos, I have other videos on Google Trends and um, how to upload video uh, designs to Redbubble. So. Thank you guys and have a good day.